Hi guys, good evening. Hi Katie, hi Flor, hi Luis, hi Alexandra, hi Joanna, how are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Super. Hi, hi. how hi guys. are you? I am super, fine nice, you. super nice to meet you all. Welcome to this module with me. My name is Bea Salaverria and I'm going to be your teacher, okay? Okay. okay. Nice to meet you. Is this your first time? Raise your hand. Nice Is this you. your first time or not? Is this your first time with uh, in support in classes? Is this your first time or no? Yeah, this is my Raise first hands? time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Welcome aboard. This is my first class. Super. Okay. So, well, okay. a little bit, a little bit of what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna have side classes related to the topics that are already on the platform, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the most important topics. We're gonna do exercises together. As you know, we have a WhatsApp group. Whenever you have questions, you can help among each other, but you can also feel okay. free to ask me. Okay, I can try to answer back as soon as possible, okay? And I'm going to take you also to the platform that way. Have you had the opportunity already to visit the platform and check out the exercises there? Uh, not yeah. yet. I only not yet? No yet. No yet. Okay, so we're going to get there. I'm going to take you to the platform. The idea, guys, is for you to have, we're going to have 16 sessions in four weeks, but the idea is for you to work on the platform to your own rhythm and try to comply. You can work on it, okay, even though we're not covering the topics that we're going over every class, but then, you know, you can, you can always go ahead to your own pace, okay, depending on the time, the available time that you guys have, okay, so that way you can work on the platform. But you're going to have four weeks, one month to actually work on it, okay? We have a deadline, and I want to feel super proud of you, hoping that you're going to finish the, your platform before our deadline. Let's not just wait for that last Sunday or that last Friday, but let's finish as soon as possible with the platform. And also, the idea is for you to learn, okay? I'm going to learn a little bit from you. I hope I learned, uh, you have learned a little bit from me because I want to learn a lot from you all, okay? So that's the idea. Participation is key, okay, for this session, okay? The idea is for you to do more of the speaking than I. So the idea is for you to speak or you're witty, witty more than me, okay? Um, what else, what else, what else? I don't know if you guys have questions for me. So far, do you guys have questions? No? No questions? No? Okay. Sorry, can you repeat your name? Yes, my name is Beatriz Salaverria. You can call me Bea. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Beatriz Salaverria. Uh, by the way, just a little bit about myself. I am 40 years old. 40. Really? <laughs> I have two kids. I have been a teacher. I have been a teacher for... Really? Half, yeah, I'm sorry. 40 years old. And I've been a teacher for half of my life. I started more than half of my life. I started when I was 17. I didn't even have a cedula or a dui at the time. I, I started off, my, my dad would cash my checks, I remember. I started working at the American school, so I've worked with many places, call centers, also teaching English with call centers, with academies, a bilingual schools such as the American school, the British school, the German school, company classes, many of them, La Auxiliadora, um, and all the many ministries and buy it and so many companies as well so i do have experience a lot because i've been teaching everywhere it's fun i love it for me it's a hobby more than a job um what else what else what else i love chocolates i love pastry i love desserts um i love crafting as you can see here that's like my with my kids of course crafting and you know that's what i do on my free time i'm starting to feel passionate about plants too um, I am trying to learn new things every day. Um, I'm downloading myself tutorials on how to do things, do do it yourself things. So that's fun. What else? I know a little bit of German because I worked at the German school and a little bit of Mandarin, which is the future language. So um, that's a little bit about me. Okay. So um, for you to know. And then again, my name is Beatriz Salaverria, but I like for people to call me Bea, so you can always feel free to call me Bea, okay? So nice to meet okay. you all. Thank you for being here. 
um, we're going to get started. Uh, first of all, I want to take you to the platform. That way you guys have a glimpse or a quick sense on how it looks like. Um, let me show you. So this is your platform. You will see something like this. Your username is your email. Your password is 12345, if I'm not mistaken, it's for everybody. I think that's like a generic password. Once you log in, you will have your course, which is intermediate too, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. You click on it, yeah. and then you're gonna have the display of all the different, you know, all the different sections. And something interesting about it is that you can also uh, check on your progress. The idea here on the progress at the top, there's a bar that says progress, is that you comply all the way here to the 80%. That way, you, at the end, you get your nice, beautiful diploma for intermediate two. So the idea mm -hmm. is for it. It gives you. If you have done it or not, it will give you like a little check. You can actually go section by section checking on. As you can see, I haven't done a lot of it. So because I'm going to do it with you guys, of course. But um, that's the idea for you to work, OK? For you to work on the okay. platform. Uh, you will have a midterm, OK? Which is like a in between. You have a midterm in between. And then at the end, you have a final, OK? Um, you have various activities, you have videos, you have knowledge checks, right? So we're going to get started that way you have a better um, idea of what it looks like. So here we're going to start with, okay, no problem. The first, it has an, a lesson objective, but the first one is um, turn down the TV. So you will actually have here, what's our topic? It will give you what's our topic for the day. If it's pronunciation, if it's so we have a video, we watch the video, and after the video, you usually have an objective. Um, then we have a, the past tense, which is the, what we're gonna be looking at into today, okay? And then we have a knowledge check right after that. Okay? So I don't know if you have had the opportunity to do it yet or not yet. No, yet. Not yet, okay, so let's do it that, the first part the way we, you guys have a better idea what it is. Let me share the sound. I'm going to share again because I didn't share sound. That way you listen to it. So let's do it again. There we go. Tell me if you're able to listen to the sound, please. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. OK, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. I'm gonna stop there. What is a phrasal verb? What do you guys know about a phrasal verb? Have you ever heard about phrasal verbs before? You know how important they are in English? Verb, verbs uh, that are made up of a verb plus a particle. Very good. Yes, it's a verb plus a preposition or a verb plus an adverb, okay? So now, separately, they will mean something else, but together, they will mean something different. And they can only mean that when they are together. Now, something very important about phrasal verbs is that if we, if we have a verb and a preposition together, like turn on, turn off, for example, turn around, turn in, turn into. Now, if we're saying that we have a verb and a preposition and we unite it and it means one thing, 
That doesn't mean that we can use that verb with all the prepositions on the list. If we have 84 prepositions, if I'm not mistaken, 84, if we have 84 prepositions, then we cannot use one verb with all the prepositions. They're more like idioms, okay? Phrases that together will mean something for a specific group of people in a country, for example, or in a state. Because for example, some people from, the, from California will have a, a list of, set of phrasal verbs, or if you like to watch series on Netflix, you're gonna pay attention to that a lot. Usually when they speak, people from New York speak different than from California or from Florida and from Texas. So everybody has like their own idioms, the way they speak. And they like to use a lot of phrasal verbs. So sometimes when you're watching movies, if you like to watch movies in English with subtitles in English, you're gonna, you're gonna notice there's, they always have, you know, a lot of phrasal, they use a lot of phrasal verbs. Learning phrasal verbs, you don't have to learn them all at once, okay? You can learn them by categories, okay? Master first prep, uh, phrasal verbs with put, or first with get, or first with um, go, for example. But don't try to memorize all the phrasal verbs at once. It's like irregular verbs. You just go by, by groups. That way you get the hang of it, okay? Because there's many. And then it goes by generations. For example, my phrasal verb list might not be the same as somebody who's a millennial that's 20 years younger than me, for example. So it's different, like it goes by generations. People use different words as they go along in life. So phrasal verbs sometimes are different. So it's always one of my suggestions and tips is that you always go to YouTube and look for videos and go to look and look for the most recent videos by English teachers, phrasal verbs and go by dates to the most recent ones. That way you're always updated with the most used phrasal verbs of the moment. Okay, that will help you a lot. That way you don't have to learn all the lists because you're in, it's not necessary for you to know all the lists. It's necessary for you to know the ones that are in the moment that people are using in the moment or that you listen to in series. Also, whenever you're watching a series, write down the phrasal verbs that you hear on the series and then look them up. And that will also help you as an exercise. Um, and always watch with closed captions. That will help you a lot. Phrasal verse will help you a lot, believe me. Okay, let's continue. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. I want to stop there. I want you guys to give me an, ex an example of how we would you use put in real life, in a real life scenario. One with put off, one with put on, and the other one with put back. Make your examples and tell me. I will put the meeting off for tomorrow. Okay. So you're going to postpone it for tomorrow. Okay. Try to be a little bit more specific. I will postpone it for tomorrow at 11 or at 12. Try to be a little bit more specific. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, I, I, I will put the meaning for tomorrow. Uh, I will put off, put off the meaning for tomorrow uh, at 11. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good job. Now, there, there is something very interesting, and I like what you just mentioned, in, and that is that you, whenever you have phrasal verbs, you don't, they don't have to always go together. You could actually uh, insert something in between. For example, you said, I need to put off, I need to put the meeting off for tomorrow. So they don't have to be put off, they don't have to go together. You can conjugate them, 
okay, to the past, to the present, and to the future. They can be conjugated. They don't have to stay there, okay? In the same tense, they can go back. They can go to the future. So if you see them, they're still phrasal verbs, even if they're in ing, okay? Putting off, for example, or will put off. So you can actually conjugate the verb or the prepositional phrase, okay? That's an, an another interesting fact about fra uh, prepositional phrases. And the last, um, the last item that I wanted to mention is that you can actually insert, they don't have to go along. You can actually insert something in the middle, put the meeting off instead of just put off the meeting. So you can play around with the words as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, can you give me an example? Okay. Anybody else, can you give me an example with put on? Mm -hmm. How would you say put on? Give me an example. Yes, Antonio. Be um, put of a coat. Uh, it's cold outside. Okay. Or put a coat. Put a coat on. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's cold outside. It's raining. You love the weather, right? Do you guys love the uh, weather? I, no. No. <laughs> it's <Okay>. too cold. <laughs> okay. I what about? Had one example. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Please uh, put on the key on the table. Aha, uh -huh, the key. Very good. So you put on. Put on the key on the table. The key on the table. Very yes. good. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Another one? Yes, thank you. But for example, for can you use it for lotions? Can you use it for perfumes or deodorants? Can I say put on? I need to put on some deodorant. Can I use it with, with, with deodorant or not? I don't know. Yeah, you can actually use it. You can actually use it. I need to put on some deodorant or I need to put on some perfume or lotion or body cream. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So you can actually use it not only for clothes. So there's many uses. So that's something. That's the reason why I suggest that you learn them little by little. Okay. Like in kindergarten, just go grab, just work with the ones with put, and then once you master put, move to another verb, okay? That way you know, because it can be used in many different ways. Mm -hmm. If something is, is can you use put on in something we need to put in, in uh, anything, things. For example, I put on my, my computer on the table, uh -huh. thing, okay. something like that. Yes, you can also put on the computer on the table. Mm -hmm. Yes, like you you put on. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can use it. What about put back? And I think this is something we use every day with people in our houses, right? Now that we're in quarantine and we're home, please put back that chair where it belongs. Please put back that. You're always asking people to put or place those things back where they belong, especially if you have kids around or if you have daughters or sons or nephews or nieces or little cousins around, right? You're always telling them, hey, put, put it back. Mm -hmm. Put back your toys where they belong. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So see, we use them with daily, with everyday activities. We use them all the time. It's just that we need to know which ones they are. Okay. So having said that, let's continue with the lesson. Place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, so this was our video for our session, but now since we have a knowledge check or an exercise, a knowledge check is an exercise that we have, okay, which is this one. So we have a knowledge check with a couple of exercises in an image here. So if you guys have access to your platform, you can actually log in and we can do it together, 1.4. But before we do this exercise, I wanna show you something. 
and this is something I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to be sharing material of, over WhatsApp. That way you have access to it, okay? Okay. So for example, I have this. And as you can see here, phrasal verbs as we were speaking are an idiomatic phrase <clears throat> consisting of a verb and another element. Typically, it's either a, an adverb or a preposition, like I was telling you. So it's a combination of both. Now, I have created a list of the phrasal verbs that are related to the exercise, okay? We're gonna go one by one to try to analyze them, okay? For example, let's start here. As you can see, pick. Pick is one of the, the ones that we're gonna be using. If you see here, we have pick apart, pick off, Okay, we have pick on, pick out, another pick up, and four pickups, different pickups for four different pickups. For example, imagine pickup has four. So it could be lift, okay, or race. It could be clean up, like pick up the mess, restart. I'm going to pick up tomorrow, okay, guys, tomorrow I'm going to pick up from what we saw today. So it's to restart or resume. Mm -hmm. Yes? I have a question, excuse me. Yes. What is the meaning of lift? Lift. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. thanks. It's the same thanks. as, it's a synonym as also as race. It's also lift. Mm -hmm. Or, thank you. Okay. Uh, by the way, Rocio, by the way, and everybody, when you received your email, when you received your email with the, uh, with the confirmation for this class, check on your links. There's a YouTube video list, and there's also the link, that direct link to for you to go to um, to WhatsApp. It, okay, this goes for everybody. In case you guys have the doubt, how can I join the WhatsApp group? On the email that you received, you should have received the link for you to have access to join the WhatsApp group. If not, um, can anybody share it on the on the Zoom? Chat right now, can you guys share the link of the WhatsApp for for everybody to, to join? Can you guys, do you guys have that link? Can somebody share on the Zoom chat? That way everybody, in case there's somebody that has not joined the, the WhatsApp chat, is there? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. So going back, pick has many, various meanings, as you can see. So it's gonna be very difficult. It's just getting the hang of it. How do you get the hang of it? Just practice it with exercises, okay? That's the only, it's the same with irregular verbs. Just practicing, you're gonna get the hang of knowing what the phrasal verbs are and how to use them correctly, okay? Super. So we have pick up, pick out. As you can see here, I don't have all the prepositions with pick, right? I have some of them. The same for turn. Turn out, turn against, turn around, okay? Or turn around to be duplicious, turn in. When you give something in, you turn in a paper to the teacher or the professor, or you have to turn in a report tomorrow. Turn off, typical turn on and turn off, okay? Turn back and turn down. Now, turn down is an interesting one, it's very used. It means when somebody disappoints you. Oh, she turned me down. Okay, it can mean that when somebody disappoints you. Mm -hmm. Or also refuse, decline, or deny. Okay, so they have different usages. Then we have with clean, STH is something and SB is somebody, okay? So this one is something and this is somebody. So for example, you clean something up, okay? like the kitchen, or you clean something up to make somewhere clean, okay? Uh, you can clean the stove. Um, you can clean something out, okay? To remove something from a way or another place to clean it. Mm -hmm. And then you can clean something up, somebody up, also to, to make yourself clean. I clean myself up before I, okay? Like you take a shower, you just clean yourself also. It's when you're talking about you and you can clean things and you can clean yourself as well. And then we have the last one, which is put. Put has many usages. As you can see here, we can use put with many 
uh, prepositions, put across, put aside, put away, put back, put by, put down, put forward, put in, put up, put on, put out. Okay, so I will send you this list that way you guys start practicing them. Okay, and you start getting the hang of the phrasal verbs. Also, we have other type of phrasal verbs with take and with let. Okay, have you heard any of this here? Take out, take off, take off your shoes, take in, take over, take out, take after, take on, or take down. Are they new? Some of them here? A lot of them? Let out. Okay, let, let out, out too. Mm -hmm. Come. Let out. Mm -hmm. Let in, very good. They're new. Why? Because we don't use them on an everyday, because we need to learn vocabulary in order to be able to, to use them. So that's the reason why I'm going to give you resources for you to start having more vocabulary to use, okay? So I'll be sending you this list, so don't worry. Everything it's we see in class, I will send it to you. So I'm gonna share this with you, okay? Okay. Now, before, before we continue, I want us to do the extra. Is everybody in 1.4? Do you guys are in 1.4? Yeah? Were you able to access 1.4? Yes. Okay, super. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make groups, okay? And I'm gonna go inside, these are called break rooms. So I'm gonna make groups. If you see a notice there, accept. And once you get a partner, I want you to work with that partner and complete the exercise, okay? I'll give you like 10 minutes or five minutes to work on this, okay? So I will go ahead and make break rooms right now. So click on accept, see you there. There you go. You're gonna see a notification asking you to join the break room. So please click on accept or accept it, okay? <clears throat> And once you're there, start working on the exercise for 1.4. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. Okay. There are three. Rocio, Marisela, and Jesse. Hello, girls. So you guys, girls are going to be working on the worksheet, okay? 1.4 exercise. Work together. One has to share the screen. That way you can see what, or you can do it on your own screen and just talk about the answers, okay? Okay. 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 okay I'll come back with you. Okay. Do you receive the... the Margarita and Samuel, hello. So you guys hello. are going to be working on the exercise 1.4, okay? If Margarita doesn't have the link or you don't have the, you can actually, if you want Samuel, you can share your screen so she can see the exercise and you can do it together just to practice, okay? Okay. Share your screen so in case she doesn't, she's not able to open it up. And the exercise you send the, the, the WhatsApp? No, the exercise is on your platform. Inside your platform is exercise 1.4. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 1.4 okay, is okay. for the video. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. be back with you, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. To the, to the image that the teacher was sharing. Do you guys have that email? Remember that you were sent uh, an email to access the platform? Do you guys have it by any chance? Luis, Flor, or Emmanuel? Mm -hmm. yeah. I will see it right now. It's your email 
it's your email address, the one you register with, and the password, I think it's one, two, three, four, five for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I, I have the, the image and I'm trying to work in right now. Ah, okay, if the rest yes. doesn't have it, you can share your screen so the rest can see it. That way you guys can all do the exercise together, okay? Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi, Katie, Antonio, and Hi. Joanna. Tell me. Hi. Hi. Uh, we, we, we want to double check uh, the activity. Yes. Uh, if we uh, didn't get, get that wrong, but... Um, I understood that we have to go to the platform, uh, to the part or the uh, section number 1.4, that is the, the knowledge check, right? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. So you can do the exercise. So we have to complete that, that section. Okay, yes. what? thank you. Yes, super. And if okay. one of you does not have the exercise, you can thank project you. it or share the screen. Mm -hmm. If not, do it together. Mm -hmm. They yeah, are these for you to work together. I'll okay. come back to you. I'm gonna check on the thank other groups, okay? Much. Yes, okay. thank you. You're welcome. I try to to have my platform, okay? Um, okay so everyone uh, have the uh, the platform on screen. No, I try. Okay, let let, let us know. Uh, what about you, Katie? Um, the books, please. Yes, I think the books uh, can be yes. Pick up the books, please. Yes. Pick up, um, maybe is pick up the toys. Because, because, yes, the, the because, toys too. I, th I, I think both are possible. Because uh, the books, uh, maybe I, uh, I think it's, toys, put out, yes. it's, put out, it's put away. Yes, pick up the toys. It's correct. Mm, yes. Or, because yes. books is in the stand. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, okay. The yes. toys. So the second. Mm -hmm. uh, Turn off. And what does mean to tough? Turn turn off. Turn off. Turn. Oh yes, turn off. Turn, turn off, off is is Apagar, is, uh, uh, apagar. Yes, ah, uh, yes, okay, apagar. Well, uh, well, it can be the TV, I think, and the radio. Mm, let me see. And it's, the lights. Is turn, turn the light, turn the lights I think, off. yes, uh, I think the, the lights are more uh, commonly. Yes, because the lights uh, are, on in the image. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the TV thing is is turned off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, let me see. And the third one, claim. Uh, let me see. The jar. Yes, the jar. Yes, the jar. Yes, clean the jar up, please. Yes, and let me see the last one. Teacher, I, I, teacher, I, the I have a question. Yes. yes How do you question. say uh, the lights uh, están encendidas, por ejemplo? Are turned on. Are turned on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Turned on and then turn off. To, uh -huh. Turned on okay. and turn off. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, let's continue. So, with uh, Elizabeth, you said clean the, clean yard. the yard, clean the yard up, please. Okay, please. I call Gar, I think. Huh? Mm, nothing. Mm -hmm. 
the shirt, the, your jacket is the, oh, the correct answer for the seventh. Yeah. Your jacket. Hang, yeah. Hang your jacket up, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number seven, please take out the trash. Take out the trash. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. The, the number, number the number eight. Yeah, please take out the trash. Number nine. Please let. Mm, I have a I have the doubt about the number nine. Please let. The, the number eight, uh, repeat the, the correct answer. The church, no, the church is the, the what? number six. The, the number eight. Number eight? Uh-huh. Uh, number eight is please take out the trash. Yes, please take out Maybe. the trash. Mm -hmm. About the number nine, uh, I have a uh, doubt. Please let the dog out or not. Please let the dog out. Like the song. Who let the dogs out? Yeah, I've heard a song like that. True. Please <laughs> let the dog out. Mm -hmm. And a number 10, turn on the radio, please. Very good. Or not. Uh, or Turn on the radio TV. or the TV, the TV, either or. That's the same for, it applies the same oh. for number five. So you could say, please turn down the radio or the TV. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll visit another group. I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Up. Clean the boots up. In the jar, and what number you? <laughs> I think yes, it's clean the jar up, please. No, I in think the boots. So. But the jar is clean. Take out the boots. Number six. Take off the boot. Or take yeah. away. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> what jar. they have to do with what the dog. What number are you in? All of them. <laughs> All the the answers. Dog. We don't know what, what to do. Number... Let the dog out. Uh huh. That Let's is put number. The dog away. <laughs> number nine. <laughs> number nine. Ah, okay. Please yes. let the dogs out. Remember, the like, please. Out. Oh, let's the, oh, let the dogs dog out. Dog. Yeah. So it comes from the same one. Okay. Okay, yeah. and the book, pick up the toys, number one, mm -hmm. pick up the toys, please. Yeah. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. um, uh, number number one, please. pick up the toys, yes. please. Uh -huh. Number one is pick up the toys. And what about the your boots clean? Books. Or take off? Yes. Uh, boot. Boots, boots or number books? Six. Number six. Ah, boots. please take off boots. your boots. Yes, take off your boots. Take mm -hmm. up. Okay. Okay. Super. Take up. Take out the books. No. Take out the trash, maybe. Number eight. Number eight. Yes. Take out the trash. Okay. But mm -hmm. can be more option that more than one, one. option. Which one? Which one would you also yes. use there? Which Which other option would you use? Mm -hmm. For example, number three, clean, clean the trash up, please. Clean the jar up, please. No. So it would be clean the yard up, please. That's the correct answer for number three. We're gonna go through the answers right now together. Okay. 
but yeah. Let me take you back to the main screen to all of you so okay. we can go over them together. Okay. Let's Thank go. you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you. <laughs> I'm going to bring you back to work, one. okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do another activity. Uh, Guys, hello. Uh, I'm we sorry. Can hear we can hear you. Hello. Yeah, oh I was on mute. Stop. Yes, I'm sorry. So I was telling you. <laughs> so, how did you guys do? Did you have them all correct? How was the exercise? Mm -hmm. Did you get a ten? Nine, eight. Seven, yeah, we six, we uh, got uh, thirty-three out of thirty-three. So super. we did it. We did it very well. Yeah. Yay! Super. Let's go over the answers together, okay? Because um. I was talking to some of the groups and some of you were like, there's a couple more options that we could use. Definitely there are other options depending on the context, okay? So for example, let's go over the first one. You could say, pick up the toys, please. The but toys. you could also say, you could also use it with trash. You could say, pick up the trash, please. If you left trash on the floor, mm -hmm. you could say, pick it up. So pretty much you mm -hmm. can pick up the trash, the books, please. You can pick up the... Um, what else? Um, yeah, you can say pick up your boots. Why not, right? Depending, then again, depending on the context. In this particular exercise, the correct one was the toys because we had to go based on, based on the picture that we have here the on the image. But then again, on real life scenarios or real life uh, uh, situations, you can actually choose depending on the context, right? Okay, so let's go on. Okay. Then we have yeah. Turn the radio or turn the light oh. or turn the turn TV. The TV. Mm -hmm. So there's like three options. You could have used either or, right? What else can you turn off? Turn off the AC, the air conditioning, turn off the um, fan if you have a fan, okay? Turn off your cell phone, for example, okay? Now clean, you can clean the yard, clean the yard up, okay? What else can you your clean? Food. Very good. You can also clean your boots, mm -hmm. your shoes, your boots, your oh, boots. Dirty. They're dirty. Very good. Uh, put away. What do we have for put away? The books. You can put away pretty much anything. Please put away your toys, your books, your, um, please put away your pencils, your colors, your markers, your, okay. So you can pretty much put away the dishes also. Mm -hmm. If you're washing the dishes, then you can put them away. Please turn down the TV, the radio. Radio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, please take off. Take off your boots. Mm -hmm. Take off your boots. What else could you take off? Give me other examples of take off. Your clothes. Yes, please take off your clothes. Your jacket. Your, jacket. your, jacket. Uh -huh. your makeup, if you have makeup. You can take off your makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hang. You can hang your jacket. You can hang up. Also hang up a call. You can hang up a call. Mm -hmm. It's colgar. Hang up a call. Mm -hmm. um, please take out the trash. Okay. What else can you take out? Please take out your dog, like somebody was saying there. Okay. You can also <laughs> please take out your dog for a walk. <laughs> Right, you can take out your dog for a walk, um, and so on. Please let the dog out, like the, the song. Like, out. Who let the dogs <laughs> out? So I related that to this example. I don't know why. Please let the yeah. dog out, mm -hmm. or please let the cat out. Okay. It was um, a very famous song in the nineties. I know, super nineties, man. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm very nineties. I'm sorry. I'm super not forty. Yeah, I'm super nineties. Okay, and the last one, turn on 
the radio, the TV, the, the lights. lights. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. So, guys, I sent you the list mm -hmm. of the presentation to WhatsApp. Uh, for those of you who already have WhatsApp, mm -hmm. I'm going to make groups again. But this time, I want you to pick only one uh, out of the list either. Because if you notice, the list that I sent you is related to the exercise. So I sent you phrasal verbs with turn, a phrasal verbs with let, with take, with hang, with turn, with put, right? So I did send you phrasal verbs related to the exercise we just did. So I'm going to take you back to the group for like two or three minutes, more than five minutes. And I want you to pick just one, one out of the lists that I sent you on WhatsApp. And I want you to make your own exercise, your own examples, okay? And okay. I want you to each one write your example, your sentence on WhatsApp. Only one example, okay? Each one, if the group is made out of one. So if I have 17 participants, I want to see 17 different sentences. Using the phrasal verb or a phrasal verb that you chose with your group, okay? Only the text on WhatsApp. That way we can go over the, ex the examples that you actually came up with, okay? I'm going to okay. place you again in groups. There you go. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Katie. Teacher, I don't understand. <laughs> so I sent you a, I sent you many lists in WhatsApp, right? Right now, or mm -hmm. I did. I sent them to you to the group, and I want you to pick one phrasal verb, and from that phrasal verb, I need you to each one make a sentence, one sentence. So you're gonna make two sentences with that same phrasal verb. For example, if you choose pick, so you're gonna make one sentence with pick up and the other one with pick out, for example. So you're gonna make two different sentences and you're gonna write your own example on the WhatsApp group. Put okay. the example in WhatsApp group. On WhatsApp group, uh-huh. So okay. you are going to write one and also Katie with the same phrasal verb. So you have to talk which, first you have to decide which phrasal verb you're going to be using. Okay. From the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be back with you. Okay. Mm. Hello. Hel uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Great. Um, can you uh, see the the images that? That the teacher uh, shared with us, and let's uh, pick one of the one of those phrasal verbs and make the uh, <clears throat> the sentence. Any sentence? Yeah, but first we, we gotta we gotta pick or choose um one phrasal verbs. Okay. Uh, the phrasal verbs. Yeah, we have uh, pick. Turn, okay. Put, With the, uh, okay. So, which one you want to uh, to use? Uh, pick up if if you wanna pick up. Okay. For example. Uh, what will be your your sentence with with pick? It will be pick apart, pick off, pick on. Okay, pick pick your pick your shoes up. Pick your shoes up. Okay. Up. Yeah. But try to make a sentence, okay? Like for example, um every day I tell my little brother to pick up his shoes from the living room. So try to make a sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
okay? Uh, so it can be, for example, um, when I was a kid, uh, my mom always, always told me to uh, pick up my toys because I always uh, let them throw in the floor. Okay, very good. It's that okay? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, it is. Okay. Um, we can do another example with take. Remember to write down your example on WhatsApp so I can see your sentences, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Take. Uh. Okay. I write my sentence. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready to do this. To write your sentence? I am looking for another example. Me too. <laughs> Remember to use real, real life scenario examples, okay? Like examples that you would actually use in your daily life. That's my interest. <clears throat> for you to come okay. up with real examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe you need to um, use another take with take in <laughs> or take over. I was thinking that in my real in my real life, uh, actually every day I take on more things to do about the house, for example, wash the dishes, <laughs> wash my clothes. Aside everything. from your work, aside from your job, from your other job. Yeah, <laughs> okay, exactly. So I was the only example that I can imagine right now. And you, yes, Jesse? <laughs> I think in the same, but I have to do other. <laughs> we may be with another take. Yes, I, I think take off. I use take off. Guys, wow, time flies with you. Imagine one hour went away super fast now. Um, so I, I hope you enjoyed this first lesson. Um, every day the idea is to make it fun, different. That way you guys practice. The idea is for you to practice. That's the reason why I make you write and make you speak, okay? And get to know each other because you're going to be brothers and sisters for many modules, okay? And um, the, the more you get... To, to know each other the more confidence you're going to gain so um thank you so much for joining tonight i will see you tomorrow same time same mm -hmm. place okay guys thank you very much and if you have questions please feel free to text me on whatsapp and i'll be more than glad to assist you okay have a wonderful okay. night okay good bye, night bye. Good thank you good night, night. Same you're welcome. Here. Bye. bye guys Bye, Floyd. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.